the outstanding quarterback and receiver on the day, both with the Chargers, Dan Fouts quarterback, Charlie Joyner wide receiver, the hapless Giants at San Diego. And this was the way the action went. Look at those stats on Fouts, 444 yards on the day, and a touchdown pass to Charlie Joyner, 10 receptions, 171 yards on the day. Fouts not only broke his own record for passing, but look at that one right there to John Jefferson, Kellen Winslow, the great young tight end, and Jefferson and Joyner, 100 yards all on the day. The outstanding running back, Earl Campbell of the Houston Oilers, as Houston did away with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Astrodome. Earl had his first 200-yard game ever, and this was his longest run of the day, 28 yards down the left side. There are the stats. Curtis Jordan finally downed them. He was an unstoppable runner all day long. This another evidence. Watch him break Cedric Brown's tackle. That was 34 of the opposition team. Earl Camp, the most unusual play of the day in the same game, and it involved Danny Reese and Cedric Brown and also Earl Campbell, the Bucks trailing 20 to seven in the fourth quarter. Stable to Campbell. Campbell in for a short gain and then he lost the ball. Reese picked it up and then lateral to that man, Cedric Brown, number 34. He went 80 yards for the touchdown behind the blocking of David Logan. So that had to be the most unusual play of the day. But not a happy day despite that play for Tampa Bay. The pass of the day. Vince Evans of the Chicago Bears. James Scott, the man the Jets didn't want of the Chicago Bears. It happened in Chicago's 24-7 upset of Detroit. It happened this way. Evans, a brilliant athlete from USC, throwing deep downfield. The defender, half slipping, but Scott too speedy. There it was, the touchdown, and that sparked the upset. Then, the defensive play of the day. A man wearing number 46 named Don Besselou in the upset of the Dolphins over the Buffalo Bills, 17 to 14. This was the way it happened. Joey Ferguson throwing that little pass to Joe Cribbs, hit, fumbled the ball, Besselou picked it up, there he went, 44 yards, the touchdown. That got the Dolphins off to the early lead that sparked the upset. Kick return of the day for the hottest team in football, Horace Ivory of the New England Patriots. The Colts were ahead of the Patriots when it happened, 21 to 17. The Colts themselves, the winners of three in a row. And with that lead, they kicked off. Watch Ivory. Watch him closely, that quick burst through the hole. Then, cutting half right, eluding tackler after tackler, all the way downfield, 98 yards. New England went on to their fifth straight win. They're at six and one on the year. How about the most dramatic play of the day? It had to be Brian Seif and Dave Logan of the Browns and their incredible victory over Green Bay. They were in a desperate situation. 25 seconds left in the game, losing 21 to 20. Third and 20 at the back of 46, and Seif went to work. To Logan, probably the most under-publicized great player in the league. He caught it on the 19, sped in for the score. Cleveland had won the game. Now let's take another look. Watch Seif. Total blitz put on him by Green Bay. He held together, spotted his receiver, threw it perfectly. Seif proved himself a year ago, and there was Logan. And I'll tell you, this Cleveland team has a way of coming back. They stay in the chase. They have won four of their last five games. And so, in the very tough AFC Central, a critical victory.